Hey, I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've never been here before, and then welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. And if you have not ever been here before, I hope that I'm lucky enough to have you as a new subscriber. In case you're not aware of how to subscribe, go ahead and hit the little button that's right down below me that says subscribe. Once it changes from subscribe to subscribed, that means you're allowed to hit the little notification bell right beside subscribed. That alerts you every time I upload a new video. And then you can absolutely be a part of my notification squad. If that's a thing. Is that a thing? That's a thing now. I have a notification squad. Anyway, I really am glad you guys stopped by. And in case you don't know me, sometimes I like to play with makeup. And I like to do hauls for makeup and cosmetic items and I do try-ons and I like to do reviews and just have fun with makeup. As you saw by the title, we are doing a review today. Today's product is the TLM Foundation Color Changing and Adjusting Naked All Day Flawless Lip From Within Complexion Perfectly Flawless Finish SPF 15 Foundation, I guess. I have watched two reviews on this product, one being Jeffree Star's and one being Makeup by PETA. They both have widely varying skin tones, and both of them are not mine, if that makes sense. So we all have widely varying skin tones. And just because a product does not work for one person doesn't mean it won't work for another person. So I thought, even though I saw their reviews and they did not like this product, that I would give it a shot and see if it might be something that could work for me. I do like light coverage, which is something they said this product has, so maybe it will be a perfect match for something that I will like. Really, once they saw that it was light coverage, I was kind of excited about that because, I don't know, I have like two sides. I have where I love full coverage, and that's most of the time on my channel what I do and what I really like to rock, but in everyday life, I prefer something that's really light and airy and is almost like a your skin but better kind of finish. I just really like searching for it and potentially finding that one product that's gonna be a lot enough coverage but a good enough coverage where somebody's gonna look at me and be like your skin's perfect or is that foundation not like oh <laughs> that's foundation sometimes i like to reserve that for a special day or a special situation regardless i digress also i'm sorry if my skin might be a little red still well i guess not maybe a little but i used a facial spray earlier and it apparently required shaking beforehand and I didn't shake it nor have I shaken it for the past like week, two weeks, month that I've been using it and it never burned my face but now I like soaked my face and it really really burned and I don't know why but I washed it off and used a soothing mask and now I'm mostly back to normal I think it was just really intense and it burned so if a facial spray or like a setting spray says to shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake, 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 shake your setting spray, shake your setting spray. So I ordered this for $9.99 and I ordered it from Amazon. It came from DK Beauty. It has one and a half stars and 31 reviews, which I did not look at for some reason when I ordered it. I guess I was just dead set on reviewing it anyway. And let's see if there's a product description and I will read that to you guys. I also found this from a company called Diablo Beauty. A friend had suggested I try this on Facebook and I went off of their post, but I remember Jeffree Star, no, I remembered Make It By PETA got this a lot cheaper than Jeffree Star did, so I thought maybe I could find a better price on Amazon and I did. I will insert the video from Diablo Cosmetics because I thought it was kind of a neat video. I wanted it to be. It just, it looks flawless. 
I really, really like this stuff so far. But I did get this on Amazon. Diablo Cosmetics has this for like $18 or something. And Amazon has it for $9.99, so it made sense to get it from Amazon. But Diablo Cosmetics had a really good video for the product. And it really, I guess, showed off what it can do. The description for this is... Flawless Color Changing Foundation is a revolutionary new liquid foundation that goes on white and instantly self-adjusts to match your exact skin tone. Exact. Our unique color matching formula protects and moisturizes the skin as it works to even out your complexion. This foundation contains SPF 50... No. SPF 15. Right here is what this says. But the description says SPF 50. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go 15, because that's what the package says, but who knows. Sun protection to shield your skin from harmful UVA and UVB rays. It is designed for daily use and will give your skin that illuminating, silky finish other foundations just don't provide. Our fragrance-free formula is lightweight and quickly absorbed onto the skin without any dryness or caking. The exclusive shade-sensing beads are activated by pressure upon application. Pressure, okay. So, as the makeup is thoroughly blended into the skin, it intuitively transforms to your skin tone for all day, natural looking color in your perfect shade. The exclusive technology contains shade sensing beads, which are encapsulated pigments that deliver perfect shade transformation upon blending into skin. Okay, so it says that it is activated by pressure, the beads are. Which, that leads me to believe that this needs to be applied with hand rather than sponge or brush. I did go ahead and wet a Morphe sponge and I have a foundation brush. I was gonna do half and half, but now that I read that it says pressure activated, I kinda wanna use the pressure from my hand and like push it into my skin. Hmm, I don't know. On the package, this says, created for the very latest high definition technology air of the film and TV industry. Ultra HD advanced formulas look invisible on 4K camera and to the naked eye. Perfect for the makeup pros and for you. Ultra HD foundation feels like a second skin, but still provides medium coverage. And the light diffusing formula looks natural and makes skin look flawless and feel moisturized. Exclusive 4K complex guarantees invisible, natural, and comfortable makeup. The fluid texture blends in seamlessly and conceals imperfections to unify the skin's texture. Great for all skin types and features a full range of shades to cover all skin tones. Full range of shades? There's one shade because you don't need other shades, it says. I don't know if I believe that because there were no other shades. I didn't see any online. It only had the one product. It didn't even offer shade names. On the um, barcode or tag, it says concealer cover TLM flaw dot 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 unsealer for women girls. I'm not a women girl. But that's okay. We're gonna see what it looks like. The lid is pretty. It's like a pearlescent white. Oh wow. So uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. Maybe if I block lights or something. Probably not. It has these little beads in it. They're like little blue, black, gray. I don't know little tiny specks all throughout the um, cream or whatever it is. And I guess that's the pressure activated color changing beads. On the bottle itself, it says foundation with co resistium technology and hydroluminous complex fights the signs of makeup meltdown. Result, a luminous complexion. I promise I can read, it's just like not clear or making sense. Result a luminous complexion looks freshly applied all day long, lasts up to 16 hours. Ingredients, titanium dioxide, paraffinum, liquidum, liquidum, paraffin, sera microcrystallina, glycerol, stearate. There's a lot. I don't want to read all those. I mean, what does a normal foundation have? Maybelline Fit Me, do any of the ingredients between these bottles match? The Fit Me has glycerin, the TLM has glyceryl. Um, yeah, I don't see very many ingredients that are the same between the two. Huh. Okay, that's scary. Like, I know foundation is safe on my face, but this isn't your everyday foundation. Is it weird that I'm scared? Like, my heart's beating fast. 
I think after having my um, my facial spray mishap, putting anything on my face that I'm not aware of what it does to my face kind of scares me. Live life on the edge. Be bold. What's the saying? You'll always get what you had if you always do what you did. So you gotta do something different to get something you didn't have. You know, that completely goes against consistency is key. Do you never do what you did to get what you didn't have? Or do you do what you did to stay consistent because it's key? Oh! Never thought about that. I'm gonna prime with my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. After being super red earlier, I feel like my face maybe needs some replenishing. It still blows my mind that my face turned so red from that facial spray when I had been using it for so long already and never turned red. Okay, primer is applied and I am looking all replenished and hangover RX'd. And while I'm thinking about it, before I move on to the actual application of the product, I want to announce the winner of the secret word shout out. So the secret word last video in my Boxy Charm video was the word shimmer because we worked with a shimmer palette. So that's what I thought of the secret word to be. And that secret word shout out goes to Vicky Burge. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and keeping a good lookout for that secret word in my videos. I love you so much. And I really appreciate you hanging out with me every time. And the secret word for this video is flawless because it's a flawless foundation. See what I did. Moving on to the foundation. So I think what I'm gonna do is I will do hand application, brush application, and sponge application. I know that's not typical, but it says that the beads are pressure activated. And what better thing to apply pressure than a finger? Because no product is gonna break through this finger. It's gonna go into the bristles of the brush. It's gonna go into the holes of the sponge. So maybe I'm getting smart or whatever, I don't know. Okay, so first I am going to pump this on the back of my hand. I don't know how much it's gonna take, but I just wanna squeeze a bunch out. I mean, if I run out, I can always order another one. Okay, so this is like, it's white and very creamy, but it looks like it has pepper in it. Can you guys see this? Here, I have to do this. I wanna zoom you in so you can see and like let it focus on it. That's what it looks like, close up. Can you see the black little spots or specks in it? Let me try and get closer. Oh yeah, that's what that looks like. Hmm. Okay. Let me zoom me back out and we can put it on. Okay. Are we back? Are we focused correctly? I think we're good. So I'm going to do face, brush, and Morphe sponge. Yeah, that's right. All right. Finger, not face. <sighs> what? Finger, brush, Morphe sponge. Yes. Oh, it's very, um, lotion-y, but like, like the thin lotions, you know, not like the not like hips lotions where they're like thick and and like buttery. This is more like watery lotion, I guess, if that makes sense. Oh, I really don't know how much to use. Oh, I think that was too much. I do think that was too much. But I'm kind of pushing a little hard onto my face because I want to use pressure to break the little beads. It smells like summer, like um, like sunscreen, like SPF, which I mean it's SPF 15 or 50 according to the description on Amazon. So I guess that makes sense for it to smell like SPF, but my Fit Me doesn't smell like SPF. Currently, it's very streaky because I guess it's just not blended in all the way, but on my upper lip at my Cupid's bow, it has turned brown, it looks like. Yeah. It has turned brown right here, which I don't understand that because it's white. I have nothing else on my face. What? Oh my God, this is really weird. Okay, I have to zoom you guys in just to my upper lip at least so you can see what I'm talking about. Do you see 
What has happened right there? It's like it's turned from white and then gone into like a clear color, but then transitioned into a skin tone color. Not my skin tone color. I don't know whose skin tone color that is, but maybe if I keep blending, it will turn into my skin tone. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Let me zoom it back out. Guys, currently I'm kind of freaking out. I know that we're just at the beginning of this. Guys, currently I'm kind of freaking out. I know that we're just at the beginning of this and we don't really know yet what's gonna happen, but so far any of the reviews I've seen have shown just the white. I have never seen a skin tone with this, and now I am. Now texture wise, it's actually filling in my pores really well. I need to blend down my neck still, but right here looks kind of okay. It just still has a white cast to it, obviously. I mean, you can see that it has a white cast to it, but I didn't even expect a color change. Like I thought it was gonna disappear into my skin, but not tint my skin, and it's tinting my skin. Oh yeah, the moment that starts blending out, it starts changing color. The moment. I'm applying a little bit more to my nose to try and fill the giant pores I have. Wow, that's actually changing to a light skin tone color and it looks like my skin tone. Now if I can just get rid of the texture. Honestly, so far, if I could just get rid of the texture and the streaks and blend all of that out, I'm not hating this but it's so white in some places. Like right here, I kinda like it. Here, I don't. Just in some places, it's not the worst foundation I've used. Huh, that's so weird. What? That's not just white. I watched two reviews on this and it stayed white. It never changed colors like this. It's more on that side. And I didn't have anything on my face. There's no makeup like out anywhere. Oh, but I'm so white. Why won't it change all the way? <laughs> I mean, that'd be really cool if I didn't end up wasting $10, you know? Now I'm gonna go with the brush. We're gonna see if maybe it'll work still with that. I would like to blend out some of this texture and it maybe not be white. Okay, we definitely have our white. Oh, no, it's on my shirt. No, 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 no. Oh, that's what I get for having the top button buttoned. Okay, the brush side wasn't much different than the finger application. I'm still very white, very, very white. And not a whole lot of coverage, but enough coverage to make me white. So it's like a tint of white. And it did fill my pores. I will give it that. It's not being completely absorbed by them. And it's not streaky, but it's white and I'm white. Not like Christopher J. M. U. A. white, but like ghost white. Like white white, like powder white. Now we're gonna go with the sponge. And I don't know if I have enough product, but I'm gonna just rub what's on my hand onto the sponge. <gasps> Guys, where I scraped this foundation off of my hand, the lines that it made, like I scraped it off with the, the sponge, but the little lines that it made while the little beads in it like broke, I guess, it almost looked like red behind, red streaks. I don't know if it's red because my sponge is red and it knew that it was red, or if it's just red first and it turns into a tan color. I don't know, I don't know. But it did that, it left little streaks. Here, actually, you know what? I will insert a picture right here of the little streaks I'm talking about. Isn't that weird? That is so weird. Okay, so I've gotta tell you that this is definitely minimal, if really at all. No, not really if at all. Minimal, minimal coverage. Like very, very light coverage. But it's not just white. From the reviews I've watched, it made it seem like it was just white, like it was just an SPF or like it was just a lotion, but it's not. It has these little color changing pigment things, just like it said, that are actually changing color. I think really that it's just these little micro beads that are filled with like a, like a red color, I guess. And as the little beads burst, that red color mixes in with the white and then mixes into your skin or it mixes into the SPF, then that mixes into your skin. But SPF normally mutes itself out on skin and this SPF is not. So I think the idea behind this to mix almost essentially like pigment beads in with an SPF is an interesting idea because I think it could work one day if it's perfected the right way. But this SPF is too white. Whatever base they used in here to suspend these micro beads and SPF is too white. I don't want to look like this all day long. I don't even want to like try to let this sit. Ugh. I was gonna try and do like a full face of makeup and try to make this work. But look, look at my hands compared to my face. I'm ghostly. That's ghostly. I don't want to be a ghost. I don't, uh, 
No, okay, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna continue with this one. I thought that maybe this white would dissipate a little bit more and I could pull it off as a foundation, but I can't. It's too much, too fast, too soon. This relationship has gone farther than what I needed it to go and I'm not ready to commit. I'm not, I'm not ready to commit. So for the TLM foundation color changing and adjusting naked foundation, I'm gonna give it a pass, a hard, hard pass, and I suggest that you don't try it because it's kind of a waste of money. I think maybe if there's like a TLM color changing foundation 2.0, might be worth a shot because they might have perfected whatever it is they're trying to do here. But at this current state, I don't think it's a good buy. Now that you know my answer and we already have it on my face, I'm going to apply a lot more. Like a lot, lot more. I wanna see what happens. Ugh, it's gotten like, ugh, weird. This is gonna be so fun. <laughs> I hope this doesn't ruin my sponge because this was an, well, this was kind of an expensive sponge and I made it last so far. Let's try to get full glam with this. See if that can happen. Let's get full, full coverage. And you know, I thought it was an SPF smell, but I do facials at the beauty college I go to and I never smell this smell this much. Oh my God, I am so wide on screen. <laughs> oh wow. In person, I'm not that white. I am white, I am very, very white in person, but I am not that white on camera. Like on the monitor, that is white. Oh my gosh, guys. This is like, this is too much. Okay, well now you know exactly what TLM foundation looks like as double layer, full coverage on my face. Actually not quite even full coverage. It's still more like a medium coverage, maybe. Oh my gosh, I look like a ghost. Talk about a foundation line, huh? You know what I am really curious of though? I'm curious how a regular foundation would mix with this. Like if this essentially acted as a primer or like a base for foundation, this is color correcting. Technically, this is a white blank canvas to work on. Hmm, let's see. I will not be using a stick foundation to test this theory though, because I will not ruin my stick foundations. So I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Bronze Beige. I know this works for my complexion. I wanna try not to get all of the color changing foundation on the stick. I don't know why I picked like the only foundation I have that has a stick on it. That was dumb. I guess I was trying to think of my cheapest foundation. Okay, now that we smell like SPF and paint, let's go ahead and blend these together. I am curious how these play together. Okay, that was a terrible idea. I don't know why I thought that maybe that would work and do something cool. But the only thing that happened is the SPF started to peel up at random places on my face. And now... Not only is my sponge ruined by pieces of SPF all over it that have dried and peeled up, but my face is also ruined because of pieces of SPF that have dried and pulled up. So I'm going to stop with this now before I get any more amazing ideas that I quickly regret and I'm gonna go wash my face. So my original opinion still stands. I don't think this is worth anyone buying and using. It's gross and it doesn't mix with anything and it smells funny and I think it was a fun little hype to try but I could never suggest something like that to you guys because I would never want you to spend your money on something that I feel like is a waste of time and a waste of said money that you worked hard for because I know how hard it is to make money. <sighs> anyway guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you had just as much fun hanging out with me. I know I did with you. I will not be leaving a link in the description box down below for this product, but I will leave a link to my Instagram account, my Twitter account, and my Snapchat. If you would like to follow me over there, my username is the same thing for everything. It's just at ChristopherJMUA. I made it super simple so you could all remember it very easily. And it would be awesome if you could follow me over there as well. But even if you don't follow me, even if you don't subscribe to me, I just hope that you can always remember and never forget that you're beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm.